Hi guys, Law Lord here, and today I'm playing Minecraft. I haven't played Minecraft since after the update. I've only played it since before the update. So for the first half of the video, I just want to try out some of the new fun stuff that I've heard of in the new update. Get used to it a bit, and then we're gonna have, and then we're gonna do something fun. So I found this village. Let's check out some of the new stuff, including this. What's this? Okay, it's not that new bell. I know there's like a new bell that you can like ring and it does something, but that's not quite it. I'll just look through the inventory, just browse, see some of the cool stuff in it. Interesting. I like the new banners. That would be fun to play around with. This, this village has got an eye patch. Level 1 Weaponsmith. Oh, so now villagers actually have like rolls and stats. And they look way cooler now too. Like, look, this guy's got like an apron and everything. Before they just like wore different colored clothes. But look, these guys have got freaking eye patches. What's, wait, what's in that chest? Okay, nothing special, just bread and iron and tree saplings. Okay, let's see if, hello there, Ocelot. Let's see if what the farmer looks like. Ooh, he has a straw hat. Looking nice. And there's the bell I talked about. Us. Awesome. Ah, oh, so they run back to their houses. I did hear that they do something like that. That's really cool. One very cool thing about the update I'm very much aware of is that you can now create your own custom banners, which I think we can sure have fun with, if you know what I mean. And here we are, we have finished our banners, and as you see, there is absolutely nothing wrong or, or suspicious about these banners. They have no affiliation with any real world regimes, there's absolutely nothing to be suspicious about here. Th these are just complete regular banners that I made out of my own creativity. I see some sort of tower over there. I'm quite curious to see what it is. I'm pretty sure it's a pillager base, but I just want to check it out just to be sure and see what it looks like. Okay, indeed it is a pillager base. Except that one's got a banner on him. And they've got a chest here with... Oh, is this like some, like, storm the castle thing where you, like, storm the castle or tower, kill the guards and then, like, kill the boss and take the loot? Is this what this is? Because if so, it's pretty cool. Pretty fun too, and I have to take part in it. Ah, oh, they also have a little training thing here. Nice. Well, I'm going to switch to survival. And then I'm going... Well, first I'm going to get equipped it. Because... And then I'm going to switch to survival. And then I'm going to go on a bit of a raid. So I've got my shield. I'm going to use full iron equipment. Iron armor and an iron sword with my shield, just so it's mildly challenging for myself. I'm not going to use entirely weak stuff like leather armor and wooden weapons or diamond armor and diamond swords. Y you know what I mean. I'm going to use mildly challenging equipment to make this interesting for yours truly. Okay, now let's switch to survival. And now it is time to invade that building. Wait, wait a minute. You're meant to be at the top. Okay, that's pretty cool. But you you were meant to be at the top of the building. I was meant to kill you last. Then again, that might weaken the morale of your, the rest of your soldiers, knowing that their general is dead. Either that or I've just been playing too much Total War. I will- I wanna- I wanna- this is Sparta him off of that thing. I wanted this as Sparta you off this tower. Okay, it didn't quite work out, but I have claimed the castle for myself. I have taken his banner. Okay, I can't wear his banner like he did. But I can now take their shit and claim victory of this battle. To end this video off, we will have three battles between iron golems and their opponent and enemy mobs. 
these freaking slimes are getting in the way of me building the arena. Snacks are available. Just go to your nearest wandering trader and feel free to spoil yourself with any treats and snacks that they sell there. The next round will be between 5 iron golems again and 15 slimes. Well, more if you count the clones that they make when they die. Seems people in the audience want to get too touchy. If all the people in the audience here tonight, I ask that you please do not get any closer than like 10 feet from the stadium. Otherwise, security is legally allowed to use lethal force to clear the area. Now that the crowd has been controlled, let the battle commence. Okay, seems the slimes are sending in their biggest slime first to lead the charge. The iron golems aren't doing much this time, only two are advancing. The other three are just sitting back, not quite sure, but the two that are in the front line, they're making quick work of the slimes. In fact, the slimes aren't really doing much, to be honest. The iron golems are just, like, throwing them. Not only do the slimes die, so do their clones as soon as they, like, spawn. So this will literally, like, end in, like, a few... And here comes a third iron golem. And the iron golems win, except for not doing shit. These two are disqualified from the rest of the game. Okay, for real, I have to deal with this literally after every game, like, for real. Why can you not just stay behind and watch the game like nice people? Because right now, you're making the game not so nice for everyone else. And you are being very selfish. I do not appreciate what you are doing here. What I would appreciate if you would stop right now and just enjoy the game like normal human beings. Yes, I know you're slimes, not humans, but like, whatever. Now, anyway, the next game shall be between I the remaining three iron golems and about 20 zombie pigmen. Let the battle commence. The zombie pigmen are advancing quickly. Okay, now the iron golems are advancing. One is slowly advancing. It seems he's going to go for the rear flank. I mean, just the rear. You don't say rear flank. But anyway, oh, what's this? It seems the zombie pigmen have butchered one of the iron golem. They're now focusing on that one. He's having quite a hard time. They have, there is only one iron golem left. Can he finish off the remaining? The zombie pigmen have won with three survivors. And that is the end of the Minecraft Hunger Games. I literally just thought of a name right off the top of my head then. And that's also the end of this video. Hope you guys ha enjoyed today's video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.